Okay, Charles. Look here, we don't need a spring line. We're touching the dock. Open up the secret door and grab the controls. Yeah, let's go forward. That, that's grab the handle, don't grab the throttles. No. Okay, now you have to take control. Okay, tell them you're going to test it. It's kind of sweet to have an aft station control. Stop, thrust report and starboard, controllers, the shifters and throttles built in. We've got to go forward at least six feet. There's another big boat coming in. See, he's got that fiberglass, pardon me, that plexiglass lid up. The guy on the right is actually at the helm of the boat, the aft helm of the boat. So today, that's the lesson. You need a control station on the back of the boat. You gotta take command. Do you have command? I have command. How far are you going? That's it. Okay. How's that? That's not far enough. Look back here. No, we're gonna have to move up more now. We don't have enough room in the back at all. We need six feet. Tell them six feet. Folks, we gotta come up six feet. Plexiglass rain cover under his left hand. See, he's grabbing the throttles, controls, and the shifters, maybe the bow thruster. And you can see his radar is still spinning over there. It's a beautiful winter sunset, Stewart, Florida. And I don't know what's going on with our crew, but we need to get away from that pilot. We need to get about six feet forward to get away from that pilot. So I guess they decided to do it by hand rather than use the engines. Okay, let's see where we're looking. Okay, gang, that looks good. That way, if we get a wind from our bow pushing us back, we won't crash into that pilot. If we get a wind from over there, it'll push us further away. You see the prop wash coming through there from that big boat? And I will close by saying, fly-by-wire, electronic shifters, and hydraulic bow thruster. If you want to learn more about docking any size boat, ask Captain Chris.